Welcome back to part three of my test of Remington's Golden Sabre 125 grain jet brass jacketed hollow point chambered in 357 Magnum. Part two featured the SP-101 and part one featured the LCR. Today we will be shooting a 4.4 inch, a 4.2 inch, excuse me, Ruger GP-100. So far, test results have not been too favorable, so I'm hoping for better things today I have a longer barrel. I've already ran this through a chronograph. I've got an average velocity of 1,228 feet per second, which equates to a muzzle energy of 419 foot-pounds of energy, which is pretty close uh, to what Remington is advertising out of a 4-inch barrel, where they are saying you'll get 1,220 feet per second and 418 foot-pounds. So that extra 0.2 inches is giving me a little bit more velocity, but right on with Remington's claims, so that's a plus right there. So let's go ahead and run this through the ballistics gel, see how it works. It will be a 16-inch block, of clear ballistics gel and let's see Okay, so as you saw from the shooting through the ballistics gel, the bullet did pass through all 16 inches, penetrating two full gallon milk jugs. And then actually, when I took the third one off, I was bringing it back and I realized my leg was getting wet and it also punctured that one but did not penetrate fully. So let's take a look here at the wound track. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview. So you're seeing some nice kind of expansion in the cavity there. You're also seeing a little bit of the burning of the ballistics gel. Come down here. And what do you know, there's a big chunk of denim almost right towards the end of the block. So let's throw the ruler on here and get some measurements. Okay, so here you see it, one inch. You're starting to get a little bit of expansion as the, end, the bullet's dumping some of that energy and really stretching that tissue. See the main cavity there? measures just about one and a half inches at its widest part. The main cavity I would say starts at three inches and runs till about eight and a quarter inches there before it starts to trail off. Continue on through here. And again, 16 plus inches of penetration through 10% ballistics gel. Let's take a look at the cross sections here. Here is the side that I was showing you. Give you full 3D look here. Again, this block is getting old. See this, whatever this is, I don't know. But you can see this is the direction the bullet entered. Long, flat wound channel. Um, fairly characteristic, I've noticed now, with the bullets that aren't expanding when they're dumping their energy, it seems to be long and flat instead of more of a round 360. So this guy here. Measures just over one and a half inches, but not very much damage when you look at it in a flat surface like this. Again, get the cross section here. Nice sticky gel. You can see where the wound cavities go, where they expand. So, kind of uh, looks a lot better in the clear gel when you're looking at it from one angle, then when you actually cut it open and start to really look at it, again, there's no expansion. So I'm gonna go into my final thoughts here. I'm not gonna weigh the bullet or do a diameter check. Here you can see the bullet. And I showed it to you after I shot it. Again, no expansion. A Little bit of denim was clogged in there, my guess. Again, causing it to expand. Overall, I had really high expectations for Remington Gold and Sabres. The plus the 38 special plus P did great in our tests, but the 357 Magnum seemed to really flop out of three different barrel lengths. The only caveat that I will make is this ballistics gel is getting towards the end of its life. I've melted it eight times, and the block is actually going to be retired today, and a new block is on order. I'll continue to use this block as a backup block instead of using milk jugs from now on.
So with that said, uh, I'm not too impressed with Golden Sabres. Velocity was as advertised, weight was as advertised, and they're doing a great job in keeping up with demand as I'm still finding these very easily on the shelves in pretty much all calibers ranging from 45 to 9mm to 38 Special, 357. Um, pretty much anything you're going to shoot, you can find it. So that's kudos to Remington for keeping up with demand now. But again, performance-wise, the 357 Magnum, I didn't have much luck. So hopefully you found this series useful and interesting. If you like the videos, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe, as I have lots more videos planned in the future. If you don't like something about the video, please comment and tell me why. Thanks again for watching.